Hello YouTube, today's topic is non-existent and never coming Illuminati bullshit, another bullshit, Planet X. So, why is Planet X as a topic? Well, Planet X symbolizes, uh, I think, all the bullshit uh, I can find on the internet and it's only surpassed by the flat earth theory, which is the best. So, Planet X... Um, the first time I came across this theory in year 2000 when I read South Planet from Zaharia Zichin. Later on he was exposed to be a shapeshifter and uh, disinformer by the Arizona Wilder uh, in that famous interview with the David Icke. But uh, another thing uh, about the Planet X was puzzling me. And uh, this was, uh, well, I'll tell you two, two things. I, at the beginning, I really believed in it because the theory was uh, one of those theories you cannot, uh, you cannot debunk, you cannot destroy because it's a form of the last Tuesdayism. Just to remind you, last Tuesdayism is the, is the theory which claims that the universe has been created last Tuesday, and if you say anything otherwise, uh, they're just going to tell you, yes, but all the memories also been created you know, last Tuesday and everything we created last Tuesday. Well, what's the point? Point is, in the Zaharia Zichin's theory, oh, this is the sun, this egg I'm gonna eat today, this, uh, I think it's a marble, how you call it? We call it, uh, actually I forgot the creation name, uh, so many years abroad. And, uh, and let's suppose that this is the planet uh, X or Nibiru. So, in the original theory, uh, if I remember well, uh, Nibiru was making a uh, big, big uh, uh, ellipse around the sun, uh, and it took, uh, if I remember, 5,600 years. So, yeah, it's okay, you know. We, we make a circle in one year, and uh, obviously we cannot see something which is so far away. But then, in the year 2008 or seven. Um, I discovered uh, on the YouTube, and it was a big interview on the Project Camelot, uh, Dr. Bill Deagle, and he was a big about Planet X and it's how it's coming and it's how it's inevitable and uh, it's very close. So I was like, wow, you know. And he 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 seemed, you know, to be a big guy, a PhD gentleman, gentleman of means, dressed nicely. You know, it all makes impact. So I was really like, wow, taken. Okay, no, this is uh, this is serious. You know, that planet X is coming, and it's gonna pass by the planet Earth, and all this debris gonna wreck the planet. And this is why Illuminati are making all these underground bases. Everything made sense, apart one thing. In 2008 or nine or later on, it never came. And the pictures I managed to find on the internet, well, they've been obviously fake. So the reason why we could not see that time and why can't we see planet X today is because planet X is always somehow skillfully hiding behind the sun. When Earth is progressing around the sun, planet X is also progressing. In a weird big curve, he's always somehow managed to hide. So, it took me only a <laughs> number of uh, years to notice that every year on YouTube we have planet X paranoia. Every year on a YouTube, there is a big thing, Planet X is coming, Planet X is coming, people are taking pictures, whistleblowers from NASA, usual network of the Illuminati is disinforming the YouTube. So, what can I say? Can I, can I prove that it doesn't exist as a planet? No. All, all I can say is every year it's supposed to come and it's never there. And... Uh, That's all. That's why I find it as a bullshit. I'm not really sure. I'm not really like 100% certain in anything. So I'm not 100% certain in a thing that there is no such a thing. I can say that I'm like 80% certain that there is no such a thing and that planet X, X is one of those uh, many, many, many things how they are distracting us. Because as long as we are distracted by all this uh, paranoia, uh, 
we cannot actually organize ourselves and connect and uh, do something meaningful, like, uh, believe it or not, a group world meditation, which could actually change the status quo forever if we were, we were to unite millions and millions of us with souls on this planet and just to, you know, project a better vision of Earth. Uh, why are we not doing it? Well, planet X is and, and financial troubles and uh, all these subtle, subtle manipulations of matrix, including mind control, uh, telepathic mind control, or uh, microwave mind control, which is going on through the towers, uh, is uh, part of the reasons why. But uh, lots of it uh, lies in the hand of these skillful uh, YouTube disinformers, which are constantly pushing paranoia. There is a constantly big uh, financial crisis behind the corner. There is a constantly uh, FEMA concentration camp uh, thing around the corner. There is always new world order coming uh, every 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 couple of years. And it's you know Jade Helm and do not forget uh, do not forget Alex Jones and his uh, Chinese uh, troops in Mexico, which were about to invade the United States of America, or Chinese troops on Pacific, which were about to uh, the day, I guess, way invade L.A. So add in the equation all that, uh, make a bullshit, and you will get the idea why we are actually stuck. We are... Um, our imagination being captured by the Illuminati. Uh, they invented uh, well, metaphysical evil. They are simply mouthpieces. Invented so many beautiful lies, so many plausible lies, and so many uh, twisted truths been invented and melted. So now we are kind of lost, aren't we? So what is the truth? What is the what is the lie? It's very difficult to say, isn't it? So you know, let that planet X be sort of beginning of uh, discussion. And I know that many trolls will come eventually, uh, and uh, and I know that. Uh, out of, you know, basically every third of my subscribers is a bit dodgy. <laughs> uh, okay, that's it. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this.